Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Curing Electromagnetic Hypersensitivity. I'm here to talk about this watch. This watch is a big feature of this book and it's one of the things that I found actually helps with curing electromagnetic hypersensitivity and we're going to do some electromagnetic field testing on it. As you can see, I wear my watch 24 hours a day, day and night, and I've got a nice tan line where it normally sits. So I've been wearing this watch uh, probably for about three years or so now, and I swear by it for preventing electromagnetic hypersensitivity from occurring. So let's take a little look at the watch, have a little look at the back, we can have a little look at the specs that are on there. It may take a second or two for the camera to focus, there we go. So as you can see, this is an MW600 watch made by Casio. And it comes in a variety of colors, and this particular one that I've been wearing is the black one. But I've also worn the uh, red one and the blue one, so I don't believe there's actually any difference between the emissions of any of those watches and that the color is quite irrelevant as long as it's the MW600 model that you're wearing. So people on online forums and things that have been discussing this book don't really believe that this watch could possibly affect your health. So I'm going to show you what this watch is doing and we're going to use some test equipment to show you that there is actually emissions coming out of this watch. And when you wear it on your wrist, as I do, those emissions appear to be beneficial for curing electromagnetic hypersensitivity. So the first meter that we're going to test this with is a very simple meter, and it's a telephone voice pickup coil and an amplifier. So I'm going to turn this on. As you can hear, it's very quiet. So let's put that down there. And let's put the watch over here. I'm gonna put the watch on its side. And we're gonna bring the voice coil close to the watch. And I want you to listen to the sound. So as you can see, there's a feel coming out of that watch that we can pick up with the voice coil and it's a once per second pulse and it's a magnetic field because that's what the voice coil is picking up on. So our next meter is a very well known meter, it's the Trifield 100XE and we're going to switch it on to the 0 to 100 magnetic field range first and we're going to see what we can pick up from our watch. So watch the meter needle as we get close to the watch. So again you can see that the meter needle has started flickering and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn the watch around and press it right into the back of this meter. So you can clearly see that we have a pulsating magnetic field coming out of this. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to switch over to the 0 to 3 range. So you can clearly see that big pulse coming out of the watch. So there's no doubts that this watch emits electromagnetic fields. And let's just see what happens as we pull it away. So we're picking up on that pulse right there. 
and as we get closer you can see the pulse goes up. It's actually off the scale at that point. Okay, so the last meter we're going to test this with is a standard AM radio tuned in to AM530 here in Tucson, Arizona. There's no radio station, we're going to turn on the radio. Now some of the noise that you can hear on the radio is actually coming from the camera because we're using an electronic camera. But what we're looking for is a pulsing once per second noise. So I'm going to turn up the radio. So you can clearly hear that we get a pulsing once per second sound on our AM radio. So they are the three fields devices that I've been able to pick up emissions from this watch on. And if you'd like to find out more on this subject, you can find it in Curing Electromagnetic Hypersensitivity. I wish you the very best of health and thank you for watching.